iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is Iron the Soul. Back today with another very important message. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me also over on Instagram at the King Jabez. It will be greatly appreciated. Well, man, let's do some work. We are on day 16 today of this 30-day series. I did a 30-day series back in November of 2020, which I entitled 30 Days of Iron. It was a pretty good series, and this is my second time doing this in my three years plus of having this YouTube channel. So let's do some work. Let's talk about something today that I think will be of value to you. We'll give you some inspiration, some hope, and some guidance. The title is a very direct statement. It is simply this. Men, return back to your godlike state. It is time for you to return back to your godlike state. You say, Aaron, what do you mean by that? You know, I, I'm, of course, a believer in the Most High God. You guys know that who follow me. Nothing new. And I believe we're created in the image of God. And I want to really process that tonight in this video. What does that mean? If I am to be like God as a man, what does that really mean? And why is there such an attack today against that very foundational teaching? Why are angels, fallen angels and demons and Lucifer and people in society fighting so hard to feminize men? I'll tell you why. The main reason for this is to insult, to offend, and to directly attack the Most High God. Because it was God who created man in his image. And it is also God who says that man is the glory of God. The Bible says that. Did you know that? The glory of the man is the woman and the glory of God is the man. That's what the Bible teaches. So when the Most High looks down from heaven at us, there should be a level of pride. Like, wow, that's what I created. He's strong. He's confident. He's assertive. He has leadership ability. That's what I'm talking about in this video today. That, that's what we're going to say with this, this topic. I'm going to get you back to where you need to be. A place of self-confidence, masculinity, authority. Because people hear that word authority, boy, and just they cringe when they hear it. But the reality of the matter is we were created by God to have a level of authority. And authority doesn't just mean being a boss. It's, it's your aura. Your energy can be felt by other people. And people will say, is there something about you? That's that aura that God has given you, sir. And we need to return back to that. This is why we respect and admire, look up to men like Bruce Lee, who had that aura about himself. It's, it was pretty obvious from watching his movies, if you're into Kung Fu, and for hearing his talks, you know, he talked about different things. He had a, a bit of a um, philosophical mind to a degree. And, you know, when you hear him talk and you saw his presence, you could tell that there was something different about him. Right. And, and that those characteristics are something that we as men respect, because what? why is that? It's a reflection of what we should be. In other words, we obviously can't all be Bruce Lee and we don't want to be. I don't want to be Bruce Lee. But we admire that discipline. Right. That confidence. That. Uh, masculinity on display. So as other men, when we see other men manifesting their true masculine aura or energy, vibe, whatever word you want to use, disposition, presence, you know, you get the point. As fellow men, we respect that. And this is what it means when we talk about iron, sharpening iron. In other words, men inspire and direct other men we challenge each other we are to hold each other accountable we are to be our brother's keeper so we respect that when we see those traits of someone like bruce lee when we see the creative genius of someone like nikola tesla in fact the tesla cars are named after him we respect that 
that discipline to sit down for hours and to reflect and to meditate. He will sit down for hours and write down ideas and figure out different inventions from scratch and the mind he had to create these fresh new thoughts, the innovative genius he had that we benefit from even today in 2023. When we think about someone like Muhammad Ali and just that courage to be a fighter, to get in the ring and to go into combat with another man for years and to be victorious, to become the champion, that courage and that warrior spirit that fellow men respect. You see, this is what it means to return back to our godlike state. Why is that? Because God is a warrior. The Bible says he's a man of war. Okay? He is creative. He's referred to as what? The creator. You understand? He's obviously intelligent because he has all knowledge. Let me talk to you today. Let me talk to you about who God is. Because we have this misconception that God is somehow, you know, uh, whatever people have in their minds. To make God seem lame, you know, boring and dull. That's not the case. Truth of the matter is, God is a warrior. God is intelligent. All these various traits that we respect in other men. Where do you think we got it from in the first place? Let me talk to you, sir. We got it from God. Because God is the ultimate warrior. Let me talk to you. God is the most intelligent person. He is the leader. He is that priest, provider, protector that we try to be and to emulate. So when we see men like Muhammad Ali, Bruce Lee, Mike Tyson, Nikola Tesla, we respect that. Steve Jobs as well. You understand? We respect these men because of the influence they have been able to, you know, of course, gain. The wealth they accumulated, the fame, the notoriety. You know, we respect that as other men. We respect when a man is able to work and to get something from scratch. Right? Why is that? Because that's what God did. He made the earth out of nothing. So we respect when another man takes nothing and makes something out of it. So all of those traits that we see in these men that we want to be a part of our own lives are the very characteristics of the most high. So this is why I say once again in this video today, sir, we had to return back to our God-like state. Talk to you for a second. God did not create us to be weak. I care what society says. I don't care what they've got going on the internet right now. I don't care about none of that. The most high did not create us to be weak, to be timid, to walk around insecure. Let me talk to you with poor posture not confident in ourselves. This is not the idea of God. When he made man, we were made to have dominion on the earth to run the show. Right? We are the leaders. I'm going to talk. We're the thinkers. We we're supposed to have the moral fiber, right? That's another trait of God likeness. Moral fiber. You can't call yourself God-like if you can't control yourself sexually, sir. If, if you have to, um, you know, indulge daily, why? Okay, I'm just going to ask you why. Why is it that you can't redirect your energy to something else that's more productive and useful for you and for your family? So a part of this godlike state, you know what's going on. You knew this was coming, okay? Is controlling our vessel. We can't call ourselves godlike if we can't control our vessels. We have to have moral fiber. This is why we respect men like Malcolm X. I'm throwing some powerful names out today. I want to get. I want you guys to think. I'm coming with all heavy hitters today. No holes bar. All heavy hitters. <laughs> all all heavy hitters. Ali, Mike Tyson, Nikola Tesla. Steve Jobs, Malcolm X, we come with all heavy hitters, all OGs. Malcolm X had a moral fiber that we respect. He wasn't, he didn't have side chicks. He was messing around multiple women. He had sexual discipline. And that was manifest in his intellectual genius. When that man talked, there was an intelligence there. There was a mind, there was a thought and a way of expressing himself, a charisma that you can only have. When you control your life essence. You understand? 
part of being godlike is the ability to tap to the spiritual. Right? That's that's clear. Being able to spend time in... I'm going to lose some of you guys. No, you, you're bored now. Being able to spend time in meditation. Because, you know, it's cool as long as I'm talking about Ali and, you know, and all these guys and Bruce Lee. And yeah, yeah, it's cool, all right? Nicole Tesla, Steve Jobs. Stop talking about spirituality. You guys, you, you're tuning me out. Some of you already left the video. No, don't leave. Here it is, too. This is important, too. Godlikeness, you know, return to that godlike state as a man is being able to be in tune with the spiritual. Being able to reflect, to spend time in prayer today. Can you discipline yourself and pray for an hour? Can you meditate for an hour? Can you spend time and reflect and read the scriptures? So God likening this course is strength, having financial stability, moral fiber, leadership, influence, all of this various characteristics and traits and realities we respect in men. But to add to that list, we can't forget this one, spirituality, prayer warriors, being able to break curses. I'm going to really talk more about that in the future. Being able to break curses and really give yourself a fair chance at being successful in life. That's where it's at. Getting to the root problems. And you see, because we can we can live waste all day. We can work. We can read all day. We can work all day. You know, and there, and there are certain issues we have in our lives that have to be dealt with in the spirit realm. I told you this before, guys. I'll say it again. We cannot outwork a devil. A devil cannot be our work. It has to be cast out. Let me put that out there. You cannot outwork a curse. That curse has to be broken, sir. So, you know, as smart as we are, as hard as we're working, there are some spiritual realities in our lives, men, that we have to deal with. And we have to figure out how to deal with it. That's why we have spiritual leaders. You may not know how to deal with it. To be honest, you may not know what to do with this stuff. Stuff is heavy. So you seek guidance. Direction. By the way, I do consultation calls for those who want to go a little deeper. I have a book and you tap into the spiritual. Really? Let's say, you know what? Let me get to the core of all this stuff. You understand? Because God likeness, God is a spirit. So if we want to be like God or return to our natural state as men created in the image of the most high, then a part of that is understanding the spirit realm and getting power right there. And once we can do that, that's when we can begin to really be experience the victories and power that we need as men. This is your big brother, Iron and Soul. I hope this is a service as a word of motivation for you on this Saturday evening. God bless. Thanks for listening. Peace.